Hello and welcome to Lamp and Light Devotions for 326-2024. Hope you're doing well today. The title for today's devotion is Following One Master. Scripture references Matthew 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The true disciple has a single eye, purity of heart wrote Kierkegaard, is to do, is to will one thing, the glory of God to be our primary motive. It should not surprise us that if we looked, if what looked like a very simple thing, I don't ask very much, do I? Turns out to be a spiritual matter, an object that reveals my heart's direction. The Lord alone did lead him, was written about Israel. You can follow one person at a time, rushing off in all directions at once, trying to serve two masters will ruin us. The sooner we make up our mind to take up the cross and follow one Lord and one master, the sooner we'll be shown the right road, the path of righteousness. It is not reasonable to ask for guidance in one matter if we have rejected the guidance already given. Let us first go back, if possible, to where we turned away. If this is no longer possible, let us confess our sin. It may often be a small thing in which we see we have been disobedient. While it is a big decision, we are asking guidance for. But it is a big thing that has stopped us, brought us to attention, and forced us back to God. If he asks us then about something smaller, we are given the chance to correct it. All our problems are theological, as William Temple said. All of them have to do with our relationship to God and his to us. And this is precisely why it makes sense to come to God with them. This was written by Elizabeth Elliot in the writing In God's Guidance.